I'm going to show you now how to put two photos onto one bigger photo using PaintShop Pro and also how to increase the size of the paper which I believe they also call a canvas which you're working on if you add many photos. So first of all I've put two photos onto my desktop. I just took a photograph of the computer screen. So there's the first photo and there's the second photo both of them separate, just photographs of my computer screen. First of all you need to open up um, PaintShop Pro and then open each of those photos into it. So I'm opening one and opening number two. And then what you need to do is look at the information of each photo. So you click on the one you want, so I'm looking for image, image information. And I can see that the dimensions are 1792 by 1344 pixels. I can also see that they are 72.000 pixels per inch. That's on photo 1. Let me have a look at photo 2. Image, image information. Again, 1792 by 1344 pixels. And again, 72.000. So they're actually both the same size. It doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes you get photos that are different sizes. But in this particular case, they're both the same size. So what I need to do now is create a new piece of paper, basically, to work on. And since each one is 1792 wide, that's basically 2000 pixels wide. So if I'm going to fit two side by side, then I need to be 4000 pixels wide in my new piece of paper. The height is going to be uh, 1344, so basically that's 1500 pixels each. So that's going to be 3000 pixels for the height. And the resolution we said was going to be 72.000, so I can remove that that says 180 in there. I can make that 72.000 and then I press OK and it creates me a piece of paper that is suitable to work with. I then click on photo number one, edit, cut that photo. I don't want to save the cut, I just want to cut it out onto the pa onto the um, clipboard. So I'm going to say no because otherwise it would save it would save that over the original photo. And then go on to the new piece of paper that I've got, edit, paste paste this new layer and it pops it into that big piece of paper. I can use the move tool to move it to one side then I go to photo number two, edit, cut again I don't want to save that chain, I want to close that, say no to that. Click on image one, edit, paste, paste this new layer and you can see with the move tool I can move that around I can put them side by side now obviously the paper is too big for what we need. First thing I need to do, because you can see there's three layers now, we want to make that into one layer. So go on to layers, go on to merge, and then merge all, which kind of glues them to the paper basically, that's just kind of sticking them down. And then we don't want all this external white paper either, so I'm going to crop those using the crop tool double click on the button in the middle and now I've got two that are side by side so I can save that as I'm going to save it onto my desktop I'm going to save it as a JPEG and I'm going to save it as new photo save that and then when I look on my desktop now I've got a new photo where they are side by side and I've still got my two original, original photos where they were separately. So that's a quite simple way of putting two photos side by side. So if that's all you need to know and all you wanted to know then stop the tutorial at this point. What I'm now going to just cover quickly is if you wanted to do multiple photos and perhaps do some resizing as well. So I'm just going to close that image down and I'm going to bring up that photo and the next photo again and then I'm just going to go and pause this um, tutorial for a moment whilst I um, put a few more photos onto my desktop 
Okay, I've opened, I've just put two more photos onto my desktop now. So I've opened one and two, and I've got there a uh, photo number three, separate photo number three, and a separate photo number four. They're actually all the same size, these at the moment, but um, I can do one that I can resize at the end of all of this just to show you the resizing process. So that's photo two, so I'm opening photo three and I'm opening photo four. Okay, and I'm going to create a piece of paper now that's a bit too small. So the width of 4,000 was suitable for two photos wide and 3,000 was suitable for the heights of these particular size of photos when you've checked the info. Um, but obviously it's not going to be wide enough, for example, to have um, three or four photos, you know, all at the side of each other or, or you know all stacked on top of each other so I'll keep the width the same and I'll put two photos to one side and I'll try and stack um, I'll, I'll keep the width at 4000 I'll try and stack them as a, as a four and then you can see what happens when the page paper gets too small so I press OK for that and then back to what we were doing before which is just going to image one two three and four so first of all go for image one edit, cut, close that down, don't save, onto the new piece of paper, edit, paste, paste this new layer, and then you can see with the move tool that it would be kind of stacked there, shrink that, go for image number two for example, um, image number two, photo number two, and again, edit, cut, close that, don't save, go to image two, edit, paste, paste this new layer, and you can move that underneath again, shrink that down, go into photo three, edit, cut, close that, don't save, go on to image 2 again you might want to put that one um, at the side paste this new layer you might want to put that one there for example and then you might really want to put the other one kind of down below and that's when your paper is getting too small so go to photo 4 edit, cut close, don't save onto here edit, paste, paste this new layer and we want it below. Okay, and now you can see the paper that I've created is too small for it to fit on. So what I need to do is go to increase what they call the canvas size. And canvas size is stored under image and then canvas size here. And as you see, that's what we set it out to start with 1400 pixels wide, um, 7000 oh well, seven thousand deep. That was the, the previous settings. I had it at being four thousand wide and I had it at being three thousand deep initially. But now we need it a bit deeper, so I'm gonna make it say six thousand deep. That should cover it. And that will give me a bigger piece of paper to work on. And I can just move things with the move tool back up. Move that up there and grab the photo that's now down below and move that one up so you can see now they all fit they all fit basically onto the paper I mean I could actually stack them all four in a row now here and have a big photo where they, where they all go down and then it's the same principle as before you don't want all these layers so it's layers and then it's merge and merge them all that sticks them to the paper and then you want to cut and just crop them out so that you don't got all that blank paper around the outside. This takes a little moment to move that amount of data up the screen. That's a lot of imagery that's moving. And that should be my cut. Double click the middle and that makes that now a stack of four and it'll be file and save as. Onto my desktop still. I want to save it again as a JPEG. And I'm going to put it as being stack of four and press save. And now look on my desktop 
and you see you've got a stack of four and they're all in one picture. Now what I need to do very quickly is just show how to resize a photo when one photo is not the same size as the other size and you want them to be the same size on the piece of paper. I'll just pause the tutorial there for a moment whilst I resize the photo. I've actually got um, photo 1 still and photo 2. I've resized photo 2 to make it smaller and I'm going to open both of these now in PaintShop Pro photo 1 and photo 2. This is what to do when you want to put them side to side and one of them is not the same size as the other. If we look at photo 1, click on that and the image, look at the image information, we'll see that stays the same at 1792 by 1344 pixels, still 72.000 pixels per inch. However, our image 2, our photo 2, image info is now 896 by 672 pixels still 72.00 pixels per inch, so it's a smaller photograph now. So I will create a new page as before which is 4000 wide and 3000 high, that's, that's enough, you know, big enough. Go to photo 1, edit, cut, close that, don't save, image, edit, paste, paste this new layer and then you can use the move tool again to move it. Go to number 2, edit, cut, don't save that, onto the image screen, edit, paste, paste new layer. And you can see the massive size differences there between the two of them. So you don't, you, you wouldn't want um, one photo with a big picture and a little picture like that really you want this picture to be that size or this picture to shrink down to that size so what you do now is click on the image that is smaller if you want to make that one larger go to where it says image and then resize and this is going to be how much bigger you want it to be so I'd want that to be at least at least 150 percent ie 50 percent bigger than it actually is right now than 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 it um now than it was before. I might even need it to be 200%. So for now, I'll go with 200% wider and I'll go with 200% taller. Untick resize our layers because if you keep that, if you keep that ticks, it'll resize this photo as well, which you don't want it to do. Then press OK. Gives it a moment to process it and you can see it's made it bigger now. So I can move it. In actual fact, that wasn't a bad guess. But um, if I'd have been slightly out, then I would have been able to just increase it a little bit more. So if I undo that, so that you can see what I mean, okay, and I go back to this image again and resize. If, for example, I'd not um, I'd not got it right and I'd said, oh, increase it by 150% and 150% for the height, it will make it bigger, but not quite big enough. So now I need to go and resize it again, but this width and height is the percentage of the bigger image and not the smaller image. So I wouldn't want it 150 again of this. I'd only need it maybe 25% bigger or something. So I might do 125, um, 125 for width and just see how that works out. See, we're almost there now, 125, they're almost the same size. So I'll just give it a slight resize a bit more. I might now have it, say, 105% wider and 105% um, taller, because it's resizing the bigger image. And, yeah, we're more or, less, more or less right there now, both the right size. And then it's back to your layers and merge in, merge them all cut around the edges, save that and you've got your pictures back together and that's when they were when they were different sizes. And save that onto my desktop. And look under different sizes. There you go. Oh, I saved it as a paint pro image for now because I didn't save it as a JPEG but never mind. Um that's that's now on Two, two that are on the same size. The only reason it saved it as a PaintShop Pro image and opened it in PaintShop Pro is because when I did file and save as, I didn't change here. This says PaintShop Pro image, I needed to pick a JPEG, but that doesn't matter because it was just the demonstration in this element of the video of how to resize a photo.